Okay, we're going to do some examples from the blog of uh, some short passwords and some longer passwords with different character types and uh, we're going to look at the uh, search space that an attacker would have to search if they were trying to brute force attack your password. Try to guess all of the possible passwords up to and including yours and uh, see how many they would have to try. So uh, remember there are uh, four different types of characters. There are lowercase letters, there are 26 of those, there are uppercase letters, and there are 26 of those, digits, the digits is 0 through 9, that's 10 digits, and then special characters like underscore, dash, uh, the number sign or dollar sign or hash sign, and so on, and there are 33 special characters. So our first example has only digits. And it has five of them, so it uses only these ten possible uh, characters, the digits. So there are ten um, possibilities for each spot in a password like this, and it is of length five. So what that means is, if, a, if an attacker was guessing a, a password of length 5, they would guess um, 10 possibilities for the first character, 10 for the second, 10 for the third, 10 for the fourth, and 10 for the fifth one, the last one, which is, uh, we could write as 10 to the power 5. And um, that's pretty uh, straightforward, that's 100,000. But of course they would guess all of the shorter passwords before that. Um, that would be 10 to the 1, 10 squared, 10 cubed, and, and um, 10 to the power 4. Adding all of these up gives us the total that we're looking for if they've guessed all the passwords up to and including ours uh, that include just digits. That's 111,110. So that's the password search space. That's how many uh, passwords they would have to try. Alright, let's try a more complex one. This one uses letters, and it uses both upper and lowercase letters, which means that the number of characters is uh, 26 lowercase and 26 uppercase that every position could possibly have, for a total of 52. And this one is of length, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, eight possibilities. So for passwords of length exactly 8, 52 times 52 times 52, 8 characters means 52 to the power 8, and to that we're going to add passwords of length 7 and so on, down to passwords of length 2 and length 1. Adding all that together, we get a big number, 54 uh, trillion it looks like, and change. So we're going to write that using scientific notation because these numbers are getting big. 5.54 times 10 to the 13. You can see that is a significant improvement over the 100,000 that you get by using just digits. Let's try another password which uses special characters. You and me with underscores spacing the words out. And this is pretty easy to remember. Let's try it. Uh, there are lowercase letters here, 26 of them, and there are symbols, 33 possibilities for symbols when you're typing on a keyboard, that's 59 characters, and this password has length, let's see, 3, 6, 8, 9, 10, 10 is the length, and so we have passwords of length 1, 59, for passwords of length 2, 59 squared, and so on up to passwords of this length, of length 10, 59 to the 10. And adding that all up, 5.20 times 10 to the 17. Um, so the last one was 10 to the 13, this is 10 to the 17, which is about, uh, well, about 10,000 times as difficult, or as big. Alright, last one. This one includes a capital letter, some lowercase letters, there's a dash, that's a symbol, more lowercase letters, and here now we've got all of our character types, there are some, num some numbers, 
and some more letters. This is 14 chars or characters and this is indeed 14 characters. Uh, the search space, we've got 26 uppercase, 26 lowercase, 33 symbols, and 10 digits. That's a total of 95 characters for each uh, position and passwords of length 1 have 95 possibilities. Passwords of length 2, there are 95 times 95, or 95 squared, and so on, up to 95 to the 14. This would take you a while in your calculator to churn through. Let me magically do it for you. 4.93 times 10 to the 27. Now, we're not very good in our brains with scientific notation, but this has uh, kind of an extra 10 zeros on the end of it, or 10 places. Um, so that's uh, about 10 million times as big of a number as this one. So much, much, much bigger. Okay, so if you're interested in uh, learning more about this, um, in a nutshell, the more character types you use and the longer your password is, the more difficult it is to be brute forced. But you can get more detail at grc.com slash haystack and you'll see there, uh, and I think it's .htm, you'll see there a calculator that will help you um, calculate this very quickly. Uh, just type in a password and it'll tell you a little more about the size of the search space. Okay, thanks.